Hey guys, welcome back to another mukbang and a horror movie. Today I am getting ready to watch Killer Clowns from Outer Space and I'm gonna eat some tuna dip. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen this movie? Oh my god. It's cheesy, okay? It's very cheesy. It's from like the 80s and <laughs> But I like it. It's cool. And mine brings like Mine brings two covers. If I could take it out without messing it up. Yeah. Mine brings this cover right here. And it brings this one. <laughs> But I like this one better, so I always keep this one on top, on the, in the front. But my goodness, get in there. Yeah, it's a cheesy movie, but I like it. David loves it. This is one of his favorite movies. So yeah, we decided to get it on Blu-ray. And I'm just going to eat some tuna dip that I made for myself. And all it has is one can of tuna in vegetable oil. And it has um, it has some green onions in there and mayo. That's it. That's all I put. Mm. Oh man, it tastes so good with the green onions. Mm. Gotta love tuna dip. I was gonna put some sour cream in it as well since it is a dip. But I didn't want to add like too many carbs because the green onions, even though it's just a little bit that I put in there, you know, it does count as carbs. So I'm trying to keep it very low carb lately. <laughs> Mm. So good. But yeah, it's a pretty cool movie. It's PG-13. I'm trying to see what year it's from. 1988. 86 minutes. <laughs> Let me see if you guys could see the ooh, the green onions in there. Look at that green onion, hey, yummy. You guys trying to pull here? Oh well, we we thought we'd park here for a while. Mmm. You said we could have all the ice cream we wanted. You didn't say anything about parking. What you know what? You I gotta buy some spinach because I've been wanting to make a spinach dip. We want you to take us home right now. With yeah, cream cheese easy. and sure. spinach and That's sour cream. And some chives in there or green onions. Oh my god. Well, this worked out just great. Don't blame me. I didn't want to come here. Hey, I'm trying to try this. Oh, that's mm. dumb. You gotta love a really good homemade dip. Hey, whenever I want to have a good time, I call Rich and Paul. A night out with those guys is a total adventure. <sighs> And these, of course, are the hot and spicy pork rinds. Is anybody alive? Did you hear that? That's my cat and my dog fighting. Sadie! They were in the kitchen, and I don't know what the heck just happened, but I'm pretty sure you guys heard my cra my cat scream. <laughs> you okay, Midnight? <laughs> Crazy animals. Mmm. Thousands of people are coming. 
Tuna is so good for you, you guys. Such a good source of protein. I love it. So I'm super excited. I'm actually uploading the video now, which you guys are going to get first before this one. But I'm so happy that I started Monica's Movie Macabre. I came up with the idea. It's not very original because, like I said, Elvira already has it. Elvira's Movie Macabre. But, you know, I thought it was a cool idea because, okay, number one, I love horror movies. I freaking always call myself the horror queen because I've always loved horror movies since I was like five. Number two, I love hosting horror movies at my house. Like every time my friends come over, we'll have like movie marathons. And I'm always into like the old 80s cheesy. Well, not always cheesy. Most of the times, you know, the best slasher films were created in the 80s. So, you know, but since I'm always hosting movies here and I'm always, you know, I'm like, oh, my God. So I was like, I should do something similar in my channel. Why not? And, you know. Mm. When I do my movie marathons, I always stop and pause and do the the fun facts or movie trivia. I've never seen one of them like this before. Spoon out of the way. I don't need it. So I was like, why not do it for the, you know, Triple M, <laughs> Monica's Movie Macabre. So yeah, you know, I just want to keep my channel fun and interesting and... I don't know who. You know, Yay, it uploaded! And you know, just keep doing stuff that I'm passionate about. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. I love to please my audience, but if I don't enjoy doing it, I'm not going to do it. So, you know, I'm not doing it for views or whatever, like I said. I just do stuff I'm passionate about, stuff that I love, you know? And I always like inventing, like, little projects for my channel. Who? Who there? Even before my YouTube channel. Where is that dog? When I used to run, well, I still run them, but I'm not very active in them anymore because I have so much going on, you know? But when I used to run the Classic Legends forum, you know, I'm really all into old Hollywood and retro and vintage. I've always been, a, no, not always. I've always loved horror movies since I was a little girl. But I've been a retro and vintage enthusiast since like maybe 2009 or something like that. I started discovering like the old, beautiful, classic movie stars. And I really started taking a liking to all that stuff. So when I started becoming passionate about retro and vintage stuff, I started creating little projects here and there. I started creating different um, Tumblr pages dedicated to like different themes and different stuff. And I just love doing that. So when I'm really passionate about something, like, oh my God, I'll, I just keep coming up with creative ideas. Mmm. My God, it's so good. So yeah, the only carb in this meal is the green onions. That's it. Tuna is all protein. Mayo is a good fat. And that's it. And the pork rind. A little more yeah, fat, but no it. carbs. Zero carbs, zero sugars. So, yep. Like Super extremely Kick low carb meal right, right here. Mm. Not enough for one more scoop. I know, I think the TV is kind of loud, but. I had to like Would speak be over it. Intoxication, littering, disturbing the peace, mm. resisting arrest. These kids are history. All done. I think I spilled a few. Oh. Okay. 
swear, Kurt, doing that badge of yours will be history. Tell you what's gonna be history then. These kids. Yummers. All right, let me switch over so I can show you guys a little bit of the movie. Kind of silly it's a, that's why i said it's a cheesy horror movie from the 80s <laughs> very cheesy but it i don't know it draws you in it's it's funny it's not really scary but it's just like it's campy you know <laughs> can i beat the horn <laughs> I'm sorry. I seem to have broken your bike. Where'd it go?
right, guys. So that's it for this mukbang and horror movie. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, if you've never watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I definitely recommend that you guys watch it. Um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified when I upload new videos. Click on the description box below so you could get a link to all my social media. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.